What's cracking guys? And today I've got a little bit of a tips video for you. If you are like me and you like playing um, new games all the time, this is the video for you. So I personally love to be uh, checking out the Steam Discover page or like Metacritic to see if there's any new video games that have got like high reviews that people are playing, that people are loving. Uh, I love playing them, trying them out on stream. But not everyone has that type of disposable income. So this is where I'm going to try to help you out. Luckily, I have a full-time job. Uh, no, it's not Twitch or YouTube. But uh, if you want to help that, uh, chuck me a follow on Twitch or subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps. Now, hopefully this video um, helps you guys out and saves you a bit of money so you can spend it on food. Maybe pop finals. I'm, I'm recently getting into pop finals. And it's a little bit addictive. Uh, Tip number one. This is my go-to website whenever I find a game I want to play. So I check, is there any deal.com? This website uh, compares other websites who are selling the game um, and gives you like the cheapest option. Just to let you guys know, this is the, um, these, these are all official resellers. Of, of Steam keys and like Epic Games keys. So it's not like G2A or any of those like illegal key websites. It won't link you any of them. These are all the official sellers of video games. So if you, let's say we wanna, House of Ashes is already there. I played House of Ashes last week. Great game, really fun. Two people died. It was bullshit. Fucking, I demand a recount. Okay, um, let's say I wanna play this game, House of Ashes, right? Good game, let's check it out. Uh, let's see. Okay. So on steam right now, also check that your currency is correct. Uh, I'm obviously in Australia, so I'm using AUD, uh, Australian dollar reduce. Um, so on steam, you can see that the game is $50 Australian, which is I, but then if we go down, it does, uh, sort it from cheapest to most expensive. So steam is the most expensive. Um, you can see that's $33 on game billet. Uh, don't know what the page is, but yeah, so these are, like I said, Humble Bundle, Indie Gala, these are all official stores. Um, but yes, so $33, that's a $12 saving. What's 9 plus 10? 21. You stupid. Nope, that's a, that's a $16 saving, technically. <laughs> Maths. Um, which is pretty good, but another thing you want to check out is down here. So there's a little vouchers area and it'll, there'll be a code sometimes that isn't included here. So you've got two game, that's $40 with a 10%, that's $36, still not as good as 33, but down here there's a gamers gate deal, 11% off with is there any deal. So if we go to gamers gate, $33. Okay, House of Ashes, here we go. $33 Australian, that's pretty solid. I'll add that to my cart. If you I can't paste in the coupon, is there any deal to it? And there we go, $29, $29.81 cents Australian for House of Ashes. You can do this with any game you want to. Uh, let's go to the, the, the front page because it gives you kind of trending games here. So you've got obviously Cyberpunk, you can get it for $60. Um, Age of Empires 4, $86, oh no, 73 is the cheapest you can get at that. So you can put whatever game you want and it'll give you a uh, website that'll have it a little bit cheaper. So you buy from the website, it'll give you a Steam key, you go to Steam, you activate, it, you go to games, activate Steam code, and then, they, then you have the game, there you go. So talking about games like, oh, look, $69 for Back for Blood, um, I'm gonna go on to tip number two is Xbox Game Pass for PC. Now, whenever I ask someone, uh, whether it be a, f a friend or an acquaintance, hey dude, do you have Xbox Game Pass? They always say, nah bro, I haven't played an Xbox in years. And guess what? No one gives a shit, dude. Cause this is, no one, like, <laughs> neither have I, I've never owned an Xbox, but I own Xbox Game Pass, mainly because it is full of, um, PC games that you can play that are owned by Microsoft, or sometimes not even owned by Microsoft. So anyway, so let's say you go, you get a subscription to Xbox Game Pass for PC, you can have your first month for a dollar, and that's like $11 per month after that. Um, 
let's check out what games they have to play. So we just saw before that um, Back for Blood was at seventy dollars, was the cheapest you could find it anywhere. Well, guess what? If you have Xbox Game Pass, you get Back for Blood it is included. You don't have to buy any of these games that are on here. Um, you just have to you just be a part of Xbox Game Pass, and you can play them as much as long as you have the subscription. So you've got a bunch of new games. Age of Empires came out last week. Age of Empires Four, sorry, came out last week. Um, I'll hopefully be trying to play that one soon. Um, you've got Destiny 2. I'm pretty sure this includes the Beyond Light expansion. Um, if you want to get scared, you get a Visage. There are plenty of games. Now it's in alphabetical order. So this is Among Us, Alien Isolation, like Battlefield. Like it, it goes on. You can go through all of this. Um, Football Manager 21. It, it goes go sim if that's a jam gears of war i think it has all the halo games um but yeah this is all all these can play be played on pc and now what else you get with xbox game pass is ea play so ea play will give you a bunch of ea games that you can play for free knockout city it takes to fifa 21 um anthem a way out all these EA games you can play, and that's all included in your um, Xbox Game Pass for PC subscription. So one of the things I would recommend, uh, I have a friend who played Psychonauts. This is a great tool for streamers because let's say I wanna play this game, um, I don't wanna play, pay $70 for it. It came out instantly on game, Xbox Game Pass. Um, you can buy Xbox Game Pass for the one month for a dollar or eleven dollars if you've already done it before. Play Psychonauts on stream or play Psychonauts at home if you're not a streamer. Um, finish the game and then cancel your subscription, and you just paid eleven dollars to play and finish Psychonauts. So yeah, I th I think it's a pretty solid value for money, um, especially if any of these games interest you at all. Um, check it out, see what you like. And yeah, that'll save you some money that way. Now, tip number three is where we we get into a little bit of muddy waters, should I say. <laughs> okay, so the next tip is using a VPN. And there's nothing technically illegal about this. You can do it. Um, you can also, um, so there, there, you can do this on most... Um, Launches, you can make an Epic Games account or a Steam account from like, I don't know, like India or Brazil where they have cheaper prices. Um, but uh, I, I think the smartest thing to do with that is to um, make a new account. And then that way, if you're, if that account gets banned, because they, if they find out they used a VPN, you will, your account might, might get terminated. So you're going to lose all the games that are on that account. So it's better to make a new account so you don't lose most of your, the games that you have now. Um, but the method I'm going to show you right now is actually through uh, GOG. And this may not have the most games, but it is um, probably one of the better ways to do it. Uh, mainly because these are DRM free, which means you once you have the game, you don't need to have a launcher with it. Um, you own the game, whether in whichever country you're in, it doesn't matter. So, so, for example, I'm going to show you a couple of things. So what do we see in the front page right here? Uh, number one, Psychonauts, $75. So like I said, Xbox Game Pass had a, is, is on there. Um, but let's say you wanted to play Cyberpunk. Maybe I did this for Cyberpunk when it came out. But so right now I can buy Cyberpunk for $60 Australian, which isn't too bad given like, I think it's the cheapest price you can get it right now. Um, but let's say I, you know, somehow moved to Russia and um, decided to buy it through the, the Russian store. Um, okay, so this, I've changed this from rubles to USD, by the way, in English, just so we can all understand. Um, number one, Psychonauts, was that, was that, six, was it 70? Well, how much was Psychonauts? Psychonauts was $75 um, from GOG Australia or like international, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think it's classified as Australia. Um, $75. Okay. Well, in GOG Russia, I can pay $11 US for it. 
Yes, this is real. Um, let's say I want to play Cyberpunk. How much was Cyberpunk? $60. That's right. $60. Not too bad. How much do I pay here? Oh, 18 US dollars for Cyberpunk 2077. Once you buy the game, you then um, download the assets and you just play it. That's it. Um, maybe you want to play Inscription, a game I played last week. Really fun. $6. How much is it in Australia? $26. Now, one thing, good thing about GOG is the, the games, um, all the money that you pay for the game goes to the uh, manufacturer or, or publisher. I forget. Uh, it goes to the people who made the game. But obviously you're paying less for the game. So this is where the kind of moral gray area starts. Um, so like personally, I think paying $18 for Cyberpunk 2077 is fine because that game was very overhyped for what you actually got. Um, but yeah, so this is, this is, this is my tip number three. This is a VPN. So let's move on to, uh, tip number four. Um, this, this is more of a honorable mention. This is more for the streamers that are watching this. Um, and that's to get a free key. And through um, different sites that uh, let you do it to promote them. So hypothetically, uh, I'll show you a couple. This one is Keymailer. Um, I've used them a couple of times for some things. Uh, basically, all you do is you put in your Twitch details. Um, there's me. Put in Twitch details. And then you apply for a key. Um, there is, it doesn't seem to be any prerequisites, um, except I think you need a minimum of, um, I think it's like 200 followers. I think you need a minimum of 200 followers and then you can apply for a key. Obviously, I think they give out keys according to how big you are. So obviously the bigger streamers are more likely to get a key compared to the smaller streamers. Um, cause yeah, I've been honest, I've applied for a fair amount of keys on this website and haven't gotten too many. Obviously, because I am a small town little guy who ain't got no one watching them. Um, okay, but yeah, so this one's Kimela. It's not too bad. It's got some good games in there. House of Ashes, Hunt. Um, uh, this is just the new ones that come out recently. Um, but yeah, it can have some good games and you might get lucky and get a key. Number two, uh, the other ones are, there's Woovit. I like Woovit because it gives you a... Um, a bar it tells you how high you have to jump before you get a key basically you know what i mean um and i like that it's not shrouded in mystery like you have to hit this and you'll get it uh unfortunately the bar's a little bit high <laughs> so let's say i want to play the smurfs mission belief right i don't know how big this game is uh but you need a concurrent of 100 people watching you which is uh pretty high um, also on YouTube, if you, cause you, it's, it's not both, it's either, or it's least of the following. So hypothetically on YouTube, if you had, I think it said like a thousand subs and, um, I think 5,000 views per month, I think is the, the watch time. Um, I could play this game hypothetically, but yeah, at least the, this one tells you what you need to, to, to hit. Some of them will just be follower, uh, goals. Like, uh, oh no, you just need an average of five for that one. Okay. Um, some of them will be like, you need like 500 followers, a thousand followers. Um, the one thing I do find really weird about this game is like, you'll have these weird ass games like Drox Operative 2. Like, and who's playing this game? Like, I've never even heard this game in my life. But like, to get a free key, you need to have a hundred people watching you every time you stream. Like, okay, dude, like, Let's get a little realistic. Who's fucking, who's playing this game? <laughs> like, okay. Maybe there's, maybe there's a, you know, thing for it, but like, I think it's a bit ridiculous. Anyway, lastly, we also have uh, rainmaker.gg. Um, they have some pretty good games on here. Um, some pretty high caliber games, but this is another one where it's like, uh, who knows how big you have to be to, to actually get a key for it. You know what I mean? Um, like Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I hope I, like I've applied for a key for this, but 
I'll be surprised if I get it. Basically, you put a you put an application in, and you have to you type out. You give them a reason why, um, why they should give you a free key. Basically, <laughs> um, but yeah, the, these last three are just for the streamers out there. And there we go. Um, this is my little tips video for you guys. Hopefully, I helped you out saving some money on some games or like buying a small subscri subscription fee to save you some money. Um, let me know in the comments below if I helped at all um, or if you have any other ideas on how to get cheaper games. Obviously, we want to keep it on the legal side. Um, but yeah, uh, give the video a like, subscribe to my YouTube, follow me on Twitch. And I will see you next time. Oh, there's no fucking power here anymore. Wing gonna miss. Bye, have a great time. Come on.